Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Joining me here today at ITW 2016 is the CEO of BSO, Mr. Michael Oroba. Michael, thank you for joining us here at JSA TV. Thank you very much, Jamie, for having me. It's a pleasure. So big news today on the floor of ITW, you are announcing your partnership with Accelerate, a uh, Russian data center operator for global connectivity in and out of Moscow. Can you give us some more details? Of course, of course, it's a pleasure. Um, so yes, it's a, it's a big news because um, iAccelerate is in a very interesting marketplace. Um, they are quite a unique data center in the Moscow space who has, well, they, they have the only state-of-the-art data center over there. Um, and a lot of the global um, companies that need to have infrastructure in place in, in Russia um, have to abide by the new law that the Russian government put in place a few months back, um, which forces them to have all the data of the Russian citizens to be on site. So that's a huge, huge driver for um, the major brands to collocate and install their infrastructure on country. Um, and obviously, we're very, very happy and proud to be able to provide all the diversity and connectivity at a very large amount of bandwidth, diversity and latency out of that um, data center um, uh, and partner with the Accelerate team. And talking about big brands, you guys just announced a major rebrand of BSO. Can you tell us why now and what are the drivers? That's right, yes. Um, very big news for us. Um, we, after long years of standing with the same brand, um, we were not really a marketing-focused company and very technical-centric. That's our own DNA, and that's where we really focus on, providing excellence and technical excellence. And our brand was not really up to par um, and linked to the expectations we had providing our clients. Um, so we figured and we thought it was a real need to improve our global brand and have a new brand that was unique and um, could relate to our clients, and our clients could relate to it as well. And talking of your services, you are cloud hosting Ethernet experts. Can you tell us what makes those really unique, the BSO way of doing that? Of course, of course. That, that's really what I'm, I'm very proud of. So at the very beginning of BSO, in our DNA, the idea was to remove the hassle um, from a client's perspective of having to deal with multiple suppliers in order to outsource and, and, and make sure that they can run their IT infrastructure in in general and broadly speaking. Um, providing a global SLA to the client end to end from A to Z and not having to play the hot potato game. Um, this, uh, this strategy we had was a bit in advance compared to the cloud computing and infrastructure as a service trend that arrived after Amazon Web Services and Azure got out. Right. Um, and we're a bit advanced in, in, in that world. Um, but now they have made the market aware of that new a way of dealing with infrastructure, and it helped us tremendously push that further and push through. And on the other side, owning the network was the only way, um, and the backbone was the only way to provide a high level of service to the client. If you don't own the infrastructure, you cannot commit to something that the client's expecting to. Um, so building the network globally and bringing the clients from their established markets into the global emerging markets is what we're after and what we're trying on a, to do on a daily basis and support them grow alongside their business. And talking clients, who are your top verticals? Our top verticals are um, the finance community. Um, that's a very big uh, vertical for us um, due to the type of network and global backbone that we've built, focused on low latency, diversity, submarine cable system, diversity from a backhaul and cable perspective. Um, a lot of dot coms and media slash new media companies um, trust us as well for their bandwidth requirement. Um, oil and gas and professional services are also what we're after. So in essence, any companies that has a global footprint worldwide um, but does want to have a complete different approach to telecoms and buying infrastructure. So not a marketed product that somebody in a big telco has um, decided to put out on the market, but in essence leveraging someone that has a global backbone and get the exact solution that they're after. And talking about that global backbone, can you tell us a little bit more about your reach? Yes, sure. So um, we operate a global backbone that covers 86 data centers worldwide in 20 countries. Um, again, back to our DNA, the goal is to bring clients from North America and Western Europe into Southeast Asia, Asia in general, India, um, Moscow, um, no, sorry, Russia. Uh, Middle East, South Africa, uh, and South America. So our key strength is really long-haul inter-region connectivity um, from 
all the usual suspects data centers where clients are located in, in Europe and North America. So literally taking over the world. <laughs> That's right, taking over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and we look forward to watching you guys continue to grow over the next few years, and we will be sure to stay on top of your news. Thank you for joining us, Michael. Thanks for having me. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.